Do your clients sometimes take responsibility for job-related expenses? Well, then you need to know how to record billable client expenses. If you have any questions about this topic, you can leave them in the comments section below and I'll do my best to help you. And of course, if you feel the video helped you, I hope you will click like and don't forget to subscribe to get updates on new videos that come out all the time. Sometimes clients agree to reimburse our law firm for expenses that we need to pay that directly relate to the service we provide to the client. Of course, they are explicitly stated in our agreement with the client before we give service to them. We record paying checks and expenses the same way that we have been when they relate to a specific client. We simply add one simple step, mark the check or the expense as billable. First, we must activate this feature in the Account and Settings window. We might have done this already in the earlier video where we learned about the Settings window. Click the cog wheel, then go all the way to the left and click Account and Settings. Now, the category of Settings is Expenses. And we might have activated this already, but if you did not, it would say mark expenses and items as billable. That is switched off. We can click the pencil key and we can click this switch, flip this switch right here, see? So that it says we will mark expenses and items as billable as needed. We will also leave the default track billable expenses and items as income in a single income account and that income account is already in the chart of accounts set up by default so just to learn this properly we'll keep the defaults and click save then at the bottom left we'll click done and let's ask the question what happens when you mark an expense as billable well the check or expense will then appear on the unbilled charges report. Your profit for the client will temporarily decrease because you are recording a client or job related expense for that client. But then what happens when you bill the client? Well, in that moment, the check or expense that was previously marked as billable will now disappear from the unbilled charges report. Your profit for that client will then go back up because your client has assumed responsibility for that expense and at the moment you added the transaction to their balance. So for example, let's imagine on March 25th we paid check number four to Office Max for job supplies related to servicing Alan Arby the client and that's three hundred dollars. Alan has agreed to allow us to bill him for the job supplies necessary in addition to the normal legal service fees that we charge. We will mark this check as billable to Alan. So let's go ahead and record check number four. In the top left we click new check now we make sure it says check number four and we make sure we're paying office max from the correct bank account on the date that the transaction says which is March 25th of 2021 we click directly under the word category and click the pull down arrow and we choose you can just push the letter J and it will filter it for anything that begins with that letter and then you can click and the amount is three hundred dollars now of course 
This specifically relates to the Allen Arby client, so we choose the client's name just like we did in the prior video. But the one extra step that we will now take is we will click and we will mark this as billable. Now we click save and close and now we can click reports and scroll down to the unbilled charges report and you can see this is our very first unbilled charge. It's a uh, check that we wrote on March 25th for $300 and you could always double click and go and see all the details of this unbilled charge and we close it out and we check the other relevant report profit and loss by client you can see this three hundred dollars for job supplies temporarily decreases our income from Alan Arby the client however now we will imagine on March 28th we build Alan for fifteen hundred dollars of legal services and included on that same invoice the March 25th supplies expense purchase that we just recorded. So we click new, we go down to invoice and we make the date March 28 of 2021. The customer is Alan Arby. Aha! At the moment you chose the customer, all of Alan's billable expenses showed up in the right panel ready for you to add to the invoice. So you just click Add and now you can see there's $300 added to this billable invoice. Directly under the row that the $300 was added, you can click Product and Service then click the pull down arrow and add the normal legal services rendered item that you usually put when you bill Allen for legal services. The amount of the legal services on this invoice is $1,500. We click save and close and now you can see that the $300 of job supplies that decreased the profit from Allen has been offset by this new income account, billable expense income. That's an additional income account in the chart of accounts that QuickBooks Online automatically put in the chart of accounts at the moment you build someone for a billable expense. So this is your total income from Allen, which includes the billable expense, and your total expenses for Allen, and the net operating income was not affected because Allen was billed for the job supplies that you paid for. We should also check the unbilled charges report to now observe that this charge is no longer on the unbilled charges report because it has now been placed on an invoice and the client is now responsible for this. Now in closing there are important options for you to consider when using the billables feature. You may choose to use a different income account for each type of billable expense to your clients instead of using the default account income from billable expenses. You may even choose to mark up the billable expenses to profit from these reimbursable costs that the client agreed to pay for. And alternatively, you may instead to choose to record the billing of a job expense to clients as a reduction of the original expense rather than income from the client. Now, all three of these options are demonstrated in the bonus section of this course. The first bonus section has things that other companies might need, but 
attorneys are somewhat more likely to need them. This course includes everything that only attorneys will need, but if you choose to bill your clients with one of these options, the video on how to do that is available here.